Aries, welcome back to the channel Fire Sign. We are gathered here today on this magic hour to pull in some messages from spirit to see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. What's the therapeutic session? What's the advice? We're using the Rider Waite tarot deck today to pull in some messages from spirit. So let's get to it. What messages do we have for Fire Sign Spirit? Aries. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. Grounding your message, justice. Hmm. So there could be justice coming towards you. Court system, some sort of a decision to be made. Could be dealing with a lawyer or a judge. This could be balancing some sort of a relationship as well. We know that um, justice symbolizes Libra, which is the sign of relationships, friendships, partnerships, any type of ship, friendships. <laughs> also the sign of business. All right, here we go. We have the devil card. Capricorn Earth energy. This could be you being very hard at work or being obsessive about work. This could be sexual passions coming towards you as well with the, the Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords. Clarity. The truth. Mm -hmm. So we could have some sort of a message of truth coming to you in regards to some sort of a karmic relationship. This could be someone juggling someone possibly here with the justice. Trying to balance out a relationship or trying to balance out some sort of um, possibly uh, work or relationship. This could also be new ideas coming towards you though. A lot of creativity. You're possibly over obsessive, uh, over obsessive about your artist. Yeah. You have a um, nine of pentacles here, which would be a harvest coming towards you here. Some sort of a tangible product. Maybe this could be some sort of a payday or some sort of a payout. This could also be someone that's coming towards you very single and abundant. To be outside of your norm or possibly you've never seen something like this before. Seen someone like this before. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm also getting a lot of confidence as well. We have Eight of Pentacles. Hard at work at something. Being very thorough. Grounding something to the, uh, the ethers though here with the Devil card. Yeah, some sort of a new idea that you had. Again, this is uh, a boss type energy. Very obsessive leadership. Definitely toxicities though if you don't watch it. Again, this could be someone uh, viewing you with a sexual eye here. Hmm. Yeah, Ten of Wands. They're coming, they're coming towards you. They're traveling towards you. Comes right on top of the devil card. Sagittarius energy. This could be some sort of a toxic uh, or some sort of a karmic lesson that you're needing to learn in regards to relationships. It could be some sort of a finality in regards to a relationship as well. Yeah, learning that relationships are not all about sex here. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of attraction here. But yeah, you're learning something. You're learning some sort of a clarity. Now, this could be uh, something about abortion. Oh, we did have that. Well, oh, yeah. Roe versus Wade. That whole thing. Justice. A decision coming toward the forefront. So, yeah, this would be taking on toxicities. People being lackadaisical with their sexual passions and desires. Mm -hmm. uh, traveling to and fro mm -hmm. Now this isn't a king This is a knight mm -hmm. And then What you would get here You would get the crown Or you would get the womb Sticking a scalpel or a knife Or this could be abortion Well sorry I spilled the beans with the A word here uh, Yeah Someone very single and abundant here So they're trying to live a single and abundant life And <laughs> I don't know. This could be someone that has had several, several, you know, um, deletions of a child here. Eight or nine is what I'm getting here. Possibly even ten here. Or this just could be the number of partners that they've had. Yeah. You have to be careful with your sexual energies. Now, however love the law goes, whether it's passed or not passed, you still should be responsible with your sexual appetites and with your sexual experiences here. People think that they can just uh, go around and having sex and that they can use, um, you know, abortions and that sort of thing as the last uh, last minute um, fixtures and that sort of thing. There's so much that goes into it. And women, are, women know what they're doing here at the end of the day. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Someone very nurturing. Someone, hmm. The King of Cups comes out on top of the Knight of Wands. So they're very attractive here they're very alluring 
possibly even very toxic here. There's not even any grass over here. We have mosquitoes coming out. So um, the type of attention that they're attracting is not even A1 type players. They're just, they're just attract, they're just, okay, yeah, someone's in my energy. They're just attracting toxic <laughs> unions, karmics, basically. Like how many, how many of these things are you gonna get? Like there's all types of birth control and condoms out there. I've had enough enough of certain experiences as a man that I prefer not to go through them multiple times here. No matter how much someone come towards you here with the Six of Cups, offering you drinks. This could be drunken sex. Yeah, there's a lack of clarity here. So this would be, huh, instead of truth, this could be someone lying or a lack of clarity here. Or this could be toxicity. Um, again, they're not mentally, they're not, they don't have any mental clarity here because they've been over drinking here. A cup. Someone's coming towards you with the false cup of love here. Yeah, they're paying for dates here. Six of cups, nine of pentacles, 69. Just for sex passions here. Karmic energy. The only major arcana to come out was the devil card. Let's see. Yep, knight of cups, a smooth talker. Coming towards you with some sort of a date or some sort of an offer. <laughs> yeah. This is a false offer of love here. We have Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups. What's the last message? Yeah, a lack of clarity here. Five of Swords, arguing, debating back and forth. Um, this could be reaching out to somebody through social media, a text message, and they're turning their back on you or walking away. Yeah, as soon as they got what they were looking for, they turned their back on you here. They came towards you with all these sex passions, Knight of Wands and the Devil card. And as soon as they got what they want, you can't hear from this person again. That's a sad situation, see? Whether man or woman, you always end up in these toxic situations and you end up having to pay karma or learn valuable life lessons from these types of situations here. Could be a loss of money, could be a loss of appetite, or whether that's sexual or, um, yeah. Someone could also be uh, emotionally eating as well, yeah. You need to learn some sort of a discipline, some sort of a discernment here. Someone's obsessed with relationships. Someone's obsessed with marriage. Someone's obsessed with, yeah, it's like they don't, they afraid to be alone here. Ace of Swords. But I'm getting negative Ace of Swords energy. The Cups, of course. Yeah, this is just a bunch of immaturity here. We do have the King of Cups here, but that could be somebody that's well versed um, in using um this would be like a woman knowing that she's sexy and she knows how to use her sexual prowess to woo men or a man that knows how to pull on the heartstrings of women again a smooth talker here knight of cups <laughs> but at the end of the day there's really no there's really no finality there's really no gelling of the emotional spiritual and mental connection here that's what I have for you here, Aries. This could be the energy that you're taking on. Hopefully not. But this could be the energy of someone that's around you or coming towards you here. They're wanting some sort of a false relationship or false commitment with you here. So you have to practice your discernment. Ace of Swords. Juggle. Um, well, someone's juggling, obviously. <laughs> someone's juggling a lot of a relationships. It's like F-boy energy here. Instead of getting the Nine of Wands, though, we got the Ten of Wands. So, yeah. This could also be ending, what am I getting? Something about, um, like how they would say women hit hit the wall, or this could be a man, a man um, not that he's uh, impotent, it's something else. But yeah, someone's losing a lot of energy here. Yeah, you, you put out all your sexual energy and it's, and it's not reciprocated. And yeah, who's gonna refill your cup at the end of the day? But that's what I have for you. Like, share, subscribe, catch you on the next one, peace.